and welcome to this week's Facebook Live. A bit later than normal, but I'm here. Uh, a bit rushed, um, but that happens. Life happens and we, we try and balance it out. So we talked about having a base care, basic self-care routine last week. And we talked about what went into it. And then people are saying, well, oh, yeah, why? Why do I have to do that? You know, what's it all about? Why do I have to even bother with trying to do these things every day? Um, and, you know, w there is really good evidence there to suggest that we need these things. Um, you have to think about these basic self-care uh, routine, these habits that we do um, as building a foundation in your life. They they are the foundation of the house called you. That's what I call them. The house called you and these are your foundation. So I call them the building blocks of self-care. Um, they're there to lay a good, strong foundation. Sometimes we... You know, we didn't learn them as children. We didn't learn them properly. We didn't learn to look after ourselves properly. We need to kind of go back and fill in that foundation, make sure that that is solid. And then from there, we build out our lives in a much more healthier manner. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Why we need them? Why do we need this basic, very basic self-care routine? And an awful lot of the time, as I said, as children, you weren't taught to do so. Maybe you've developed low self-esteem. We can stop looking after ourselves properly when that happens. Um, you know, we're not so setting healthy boundaries with ourselves and with others. Can also be a big clue in there. Um, you know, we've forgotten that loving ourselves is important and loving ourselves a little bit more than we do somebody else. It's okay to love somebody else, love your, love your children, but you also have to love yourself. We can forget to do that. Sometimes we forget to do these things because life gets busy and let's face it it is and it is very stressed and i understand that it's very stressful at the moment um, and we can get really tired um you know and we put we don't think about ourselves we put ourselves in the back burner and these things then have a habit of catching up with you um if you do not have a basic self-care routine because this you've got to understand that the basics of self-care are the very minimum they're the collapse point that you're going to put in place to keep the show on the road and you're the show you've got to keep you on the road so if you don't have that if you have an inability to look after yourself then it has a it's like a knock-on effect it's like a domino effect onto the other areas of your life all your you know your mental health and your physical health is going to suffer and there are quite a few benefits to having this routine this basic routine in our lives but one of the very basics and the and the one i want to highlight today is that it teaches us to set boundaries and you're going to say how well how how does it do that well you know it's the small steps the small habits i call them steps but they're habits that we do to look after ourselves and these help us to regain our ability to um, have healthier boundaries with ourselves and others and in all areas of our lives. So this is what this does. This It's like we, we're clawing back and saying, no, I'm important. I'm as important as anybody else. I'm gonna look after myself. And that's a boundary, that is setting a boundary. So when we're doing that, um, you know, this is what we're, we're, we're setting these boundaries. When we regain that time, regain um, the energy to look after ourselves, that's what we're doing. We're setting a healthy boundary. And that's important because, you know, we do need to build healthy boundaries, not just with others. We always think of boundaries and other people, but we forget that we break our own boundaries and that we're not, you know, we're not holding ourselves accountable um, and we're not, um, you know, holding the, the boundary with ourselves. And sometimes we can be the one that's the worst enemy. We fail to say no to things when we know we shouldn't. Um, we don't tackle our procrastination. We don't tackle our perfectionism or codependency, etc., etc. You know, we don't tackle this. We we are our own worst enemies, in other words. So you know, taking time just maybe to do a little reflection on, um, you know, what's going on can be important. Um, even to say, you know, even if you if you don't do the routine, even you say, OK, no, I'm not going to do this. But just even taking a time out to reflect and be honest. Let's start being honest with ourselves and say, OK, how am I feeling? What's going on for me here? How am I feeling? Um, what do I love? What do, who do I love? I, I hope it's going to be you're going to say you like myself at the top of the list. Um, like Who else do you love? What do you want to continue going forward in your life? 
because if you're off balance if you're stressed um you, you really need to take this time to do a little reflection and say okay let's get honest here get honest with myself as to what's going on in my life and to see everything that i'm doing um everything i do for other people how much of that am i doing for myself what am i getting out of it um you know sometimes when we do that reflection we can then see i'm doing too much for other people maybe maybe it's time i'm you know to stop enabling others to hand them back their responsibilities i'm talking about adults here um so you know to, to, you know allow them to take back their responsibilities and to grow up because if you're enabling them you're basically treating them uh, with disrespect you're not allowing them to act as adults so please you know take time to reflect and be honest with yourself um, because that time that you are giving and giving and giving and giving and that's causing you stress could be time and energy that you could use as i said to create this healthy boundary and spend some time on just a simple basic self-care routine that i talked about last week um getting those in better night's sleep maybe prioritizing it journaling um you know meditation eating properly just forget the big goals for new year for the new year simple baby steps get those in get those right and then go out from there because you know the the basic self that basic self-care routine as i said it's 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 showing you how to respect yourself but it's also saying do you know what i should respect others because they're entitled to do exactly that same routine for themselves um you know um and i know it can cause problems when you start to change things up of course it will um if you've been the doormat if you've been codependent if you've been you know you've been the perfectionist and you won't allow people to do things because you were the only one that can actually do it um so whatever the issue is there and you, you know if you've been enabling people in any way shape or form um and particularly the negative vampires then they're not going to be too pleased about you changing this up but you know by saying no to them and saying no i'm taking this time for me i'm going to do these basic self-care habits for me to look after my mental health my physical health in a basic way then you're showing them that you re you deserve respect um you're showing yourself that you deserve respect and that you're looking after yourself you're looking after your own needs you're going to meet those and you're then saying well you know what i'm as equally important as you are um and this also helps you to learn a bit of self-compassion and then you know we it also helps you um to stop comparing yourself to others because you're now focusing inwards and sort of outwards you're not looking out there and looking for those unrealistic ideals you're saying no i'm looking after myself i'm good enough to be looked after so you're focusing in you're stopping the comparison game which is very detrimental to our mental health and you're saying no i can be compassionate with with myself um you know so you're 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 creating those boundaries then as a result so just adding in a little bit of little baby baby steps as i said last week um you know just making sure you're eating right three meals a day or five five meals smaller meals a day 10 minutes walking at lunchtime a little bit of meditation three minute breather every day um you know journaling and you don't have to do it all at once because that's going to set you up for failure so just pick one one item let's introduce a three minute breather it's going to help my sleep it's going to help my me to calm down throughout the day so if i introduce that and i get regularly do it every day if i can be consistent with it and then when i feel comfortable with it then i'll introduce journaling say or i'll i'll prioritize my sleep and see if there's something else i can tweak to get my sleep right so you're prioritizing yourself but you're prioritizing where you're going to spend your time and your energy and that's important because you are allowed a time out we forget that um we forget that we we are allowed time out and you know as i said at the start this this routine if you can get these habits create a routine and if you can get that you can actually use them to reset as well on high stress days or on a day when you're having a bad day or you're anxious if you're really anxious then you can say okay it's important to realize that you know i'm, I'm having this kind of a day um so what can i do out of those basics so you're creating this collapse point as i said 
this is the basics I'm going to do to look after myself, to nurture myself, to mind my mental health, to mind my physical health. So maybe prioritizing your sleep that day, uh, doing a little bit of journaling to get out all those thoughts out of your head, making sure you eat comfort food, you know, a nourishing comfort food, okay, not the caffeine and the sugar, but nourishing comfort food. Get out in the fresh air, do 10 minutes even out in the fresh air little bit of uh, walking just just to get some fresh air and some daylight um, to help you improve your sleep as well there. Just that basic, the bare minimum that you can do today to look after yourself. Um, you know, so this is what this basic self care routine does. It creates that bare minimum that you can do each day, each week to look after your physical and mental health. And, you know, if, even if you're only taking the tiniest amount, as I said, people think meditation, for instance, oh, I have to do 20 or 30 minutes. No, three minutes. OK, even if 30 seconds for 30 seconds, I'm feeling really stressed. I can remember to breathe and do that, you know, do a 30 second section of the three minute breather. That's fine. You've done it. You've covered it. So you're going to feel a lot better than having done nothing at all and allowing the stress to build, build, build. Remember, keep the nagging voice down. Um, you know, it helps to stop that nagging voice being so critical to you, too. If you are using some easy, small uh, habits in this basic routine to build up, to build up boundary, but also to help you have that collapse point where you're looking after yourself. Um, if you want more suggestions, if you want quick strategies and an easy step by step guide, um, to doing all this, then I do have a book, The Building Box of Self Care. It's been out for a while now. There's a number of workbooks up on my website. It's all they're also all available from Amazon, um, in Kindle version or in paperback version. So go have a look at them. Um, but you can get that book. It it takes those basic self care, uh, routine, the habits, and it builds them month upon month upon month. So you, then you have the whole lot together. At the end of a year, you would have the twelve. Uh, building blocks of self-care that I think should be the foundation of everybody's life. That'll help you get feeling rebalanced, I hope, um, and more focused on the life that you want. So do check it out. Um, let me know, as always, I'm happy to answer questions for people um, here on Facebook or over on uh, YouTube. So pop the questions in. I'll come back to you as quickly as I can. And that's it for this week. Thank you, as always, to those that watch live. Thank you for those that watch um, in replay and over in replay on YouTube. And I will talk to you all again next week.